What's up everyone, my name is Bao. Today we are going back to the basics because you will learn how to handle this deck of cards just like a pro. All right, so here we are in the comfort of my own home and I hope that you are at home as well because uh, it's definitely a weird time right now. I hope that you and your loved ones are safe and healthy. Use this time to keep yourself busy, learn new things, learn a new skill. I thought that this would be a good opportunity to teach you how to properly handle cards. I would teach you how to handle them properly so that you don't waste your time trying to figure out how it's properly done. Funny thing is that uh, I actually learned how to do all these uh, cardistry moves before actually knowing how to do a proper riffle shuffle. So it's never too late, now's the time. All right, so three things you're gonna learn today. First is the overhand shuffle. Then we're gonna learn the uh, riffle shuffle with the bridge, like that. And finally, the thumb fan, just because it looks cool. So let's get into it. This is the uh, dealer's grip. This is the standard grip where when you hold a deck of cards, well, usually you hold it like this. So thumb on the side, first finger on top, and then the three other fingers on the side like this. And also funny thing, if you are right-handed, hold the deck with your left hand. The reason why is that when you deal cards, you deal cards with your right hand, therefore you hold the deck with your left hand. So if you're right-handed, you hold the deck with your left hand and vice versa. If you're left-handed, you hold it with the right. Okay, so you start in mechanics grip and you're like this. Now the thing is with the overhand shuffle, you're gonna bring the cards vertical. Now the thing is they're not vertical like this aligned with your fingers. They're slightly diagonal. So the first corner is in between uh, your first finger and the middle finger and the rest kind of lies across your palm diagonally, kind of like along this, uh, this line here, this line, so just like this, okay? This is how uh, the resting position should be. After, with your right hand, you're gonna hold it across uh, the, the edge right here, just like this. So you're gonna hold it right here. So when you let go, you can hold it like this, or you can let it rest like this. So when you do the overhand shuffle, these are your two main grips, okay? Now, uh, with your thumb, your thumb from your left hand, you'll actually um, peel uh, small amounts of cards from the deck that you're holding with your right hand, just like this, okay? So you're gonna peel it off and put them back into your original position. Now, when you peel it off, you see this here? It, uh, it kind of stays, like the corner is kind of like resting in between uh, the, the, the first finger and the second finger right here. So you're gonna peel it like this with your thumb slowly. Now you don't need to be fast, you start slowly. I'm gonna peel it off like this. Now using your thumb, middle, and first finger, you can just go like this to square off the whole deck and now you're ready to reset. So if you wanna keep shuffling like this, you're good to go. And if it ends up being really messy, so let's make a messy deck like this. And now you're back to uh, a clean deck, a square, Deck, just like that. I hope that was clear. Now, um, also, I like to point out uh, one thing you might notice is that when you first start, the cards might tend to fall towards you, right? Now, that's why if that happens, you can feel free to tilt your hand slightly forward because uh, your first finger, your index, is there to keep everything together. That's why this finger is there. I feel like some people, when they uh, learn how to do the shuffle. They, they don't have the first finger there and uh, I've seen this before 
that makes it a lot harder to shuffle. So that's why your first finger is there to keep everything squared together. And that makes it just so much cleaner. And once you have a clean overhand shuffle, you can pick up the pace just like that. was the overhand shuffle now we are moving into the riffle shuffle you're going to hold the deck like this okay with your dealer's grip you're going to take the cards with your hands here so your thumb at the back and the other fingers at the front here now this is where it gets interesting you're going to want to wrap your three fingers your pinky your fourth finger your middle finger uh, around the deck like this now notice how it's completely wrapped here and your first finger is kind of curled right here that is because you want to be able to do this motion you want to be able to riffle through the whole deck like this you would want to feel as if almost every single card go through your thumb that's when you know yeah you have a proper riffle so what you want to do is your three fingers curled in like this on the short edge your first finger is curled in like this and your thumb is at the opposite side. What it's gonna do is that your, your first finger is gonna create some pressure as your thumb is pulling back. And when your thumb is pulling back, it's gonna create this, uh, it's gonna riffle through the cards like this. Now, if you wanna practice the riffle, what you can do is uh, with these hands, you can hold it like this so that you can feel every single card run through your thumb, riffle through your thumb like this, okay? Oh, by the way, I just want to add, some people tend to have the thumb angle like this. I actually tend to be a little more on the side because it helps me feel the cards a little better. So like this, now let's look at my thumb, you see? So they're not necessarily like this, but for me, I actually, yeah, more on the side like that. So first, you're gonna riffle halfway through. Then your first finger will go inside that crack here. And the, the other fingers will clip the rest here, okay? Now it's, we're using uh, the bottom three fingers as a pivot point to go like this. And now your thumb will catch the rest so that both hands are in the same position. Okay, let's do that again. Just like that. What I do is my, my three fingers are just there, just to rest right here. Index, first finger goes in the crack. We're going to pivot it to the other hand and then you end up with the same grip in both hands. Now what's important is that uh, your fingers are the three Last fingers here are remain curled in and they are gripping the packs. And same thing with uh, the, the index, they are uh, just pushing against the pack, just creating this curve. That's what's gonna uh, help you be able to riffle the cards through. Now, I see this part as a challenge for most people is um, to be able to do this in the air. Now what's going to allow you to riffle the cards in the air is really this grip right here. Like this grip, super important because this grip with the these fingers, they will allow you to hold the cards in place just like that. Okay. And then you can finish with the bridge. Now we're going to show you how to do the bridge in a moment. So after you're able to riffle the cards through like this, now the most important part are your thumb in order to create that bridge and also you keep the grip with 
your fingers here, okay? You wanna keep the grip tight on both sides. Now, grip tight on your other fingers, your thumbs at the top. Now, don't lose the grip yet because that's gonna keep the cards here. And as soon as you're ready, you can let go of the grip and the cards will bridge together. The cards will bridge together just like that. And there you go, that was the Riffle Shuffle. So now that you know how to do the two basic shuffles, you will now learn how to fan just because it looks cool. Okay, um, so, so now the fan for magicians, uh, it would be used to display all the cards, uh, either that uh, to show that all the cards are new deck order or that the cards are uh, well shuffled. Keep in mind, uh, in order to do this, you need a good deck of cards as long as you're using something like a deck of bicycles, something that has a finish, an air cushion finish. So if you see closely on your deck, there might be little air bubbles. If you're using a plastic deck, that might not work. Uh, actually, that most likely will not work. Also, usually it's best when it's a, it's a new deck. Once you like open that new deck, you'll feel right away. They're super slippery and you feel like they're almost about to fall off your hands. That's when you know that you're able to fan, do the fan with your deck. Uh, sometimes if it's not a good deck, then it'll be like this. So if your deck of cards is like that, maybe you want to find yourself a deck of cards that's new. Actually in these times, it's not that easy. So uh, maybe you want to skip this for now. How to do the fan. My trick is that, uh, I hold it like a gun, all right, like this. Uh, the two fingers will be across the bottom of this pack, okay? And your thumb will be right here. I find that the best pressure point is around here. So if you're right-handed, um, it's at the bottom right. So my thumb will actually be right there. And my fingers will, uh, be gripped right here. Now with your other thumb, the one that's free right now, you're going to uh, just fan out the deck like this. So your thumb is gonna run across the top left corner and it's just gonna go around like this. Now you'll have to feel for it. Now when you start, like a lot of people, they tend to kind of like just push, like they'll be able to fan like you might be able to fan it, but you won't be able to spread all 52 cards evenly. That is something that you learn to adjust over time. You would just have to uh, gauge it. Now, you might start with a little bit of cards here, but then you will need to understand that you can, your thumb will start like this. Now your, your thumb is gonna start like this, but then it'll slowly uh, bend upwards like that. So it's gonna start like this. It's going to slowly bend upwards like that. So when I show the cards here, you'll see that even at the end, it'll, it'll even, like my thumb is only goes until here. And at the end, I just add some pressure here for it to complete the fan. So just like that. With my thumb, I don't uh, push it on the side the whole way. I go right around here, and then by the end, I just add that little bit of pressure so that it spreads evenly until the very last card. So I don't have like, I don't end up with a chunk at the end like this. So just like this, and from the front like this, you can do it like this, and it'll look 
pretty decent. Now, just a little tip here. Um, I know when I taught it, I taught it like this. Um, if you want a bigger fan, slightly angle it like this. So that way you have a fan that's a lot more full. So I would angle it all the way to the crack of my thumb. And now it's a, the fan feels a little more complete. Just like that. Now that you learned how to do the fan, you can close it like this, or you can be a little more fancy and use one hand to close it like that. Now this uses a little bit of momentum. Your middle finger, what's gonna do, it's gonna hold the, the edge, the edge here, and your index, your first finger, is like this, okay? So after you do the fan, you end up like this. Now your middle finger is conveniently uh, near the bottom corner right here. And your index, you're gonna curl back like this to kind of try to grip this part here. First finger is gonna push up like this. And at the same time, your middle finger is gonna pull. So what's gonna happen is that it creates this right there, okay? So I'm holding the fan like this. This is the very last card of the fan. I hold this here and then my middle finger pulls as the index pushes like that. So my middle finger pulls as my first finger pushes. So if we apply that to the fan, you'll actually see that it goes like this. See what I mean? Just like that. Once that you have a fan, uh, you can build some momentum. So it's almost like you're, it's almost like a whip. You're not exaggerating it, but yeah. And doing it slowly might end up a little messy. So once you pick up the pace, the whole deck will swing and the speed will allow it to kind of have a little bit of momentum to go all the way back in and you can use your other fingers to square up the rest of the deck just like that so that's it for your thumb fan and the fancy closure for it teaching three basic uh, card handling techniques would be this long but uh, I hope that you enjoyed it now you'll be able to shuffle the cards handle the cards just like a pro so I hope that you guys keep yourself busy you know read a book learn a new skill uh, maybe learn some magic so I will keep posting these videos and uh, I hope that I can keep you guys entertained while we are all in self-isolation so stay safe stay home hope everyone is well and healthy and that's it thank you very much and uh, i'll see you guys next time